How's it going guys, my name is TJP, welcome back to another Madden NFL 25 video here today, another franchise AFC team, the New York Jets, we've got five seasons to try to, you know, do as best we can, maybe win a Super Bowl, it is not meant to be realistic, if we say a name wrong, we say a name wrong, it's a video game at the end of the day, don't take it too seriously, we're just here to have fun, we're also doing all 32 teams based on where they finished in the standings, as well as, you know, then the playoffs, so we're doing all 32 teams in order okay so yeah leave a like subscribe and join the content comment down below some more videos videos wherever socials play the second channel and main channel down below in the description if you like the content from me tjp and with that being said let's get on to the gameplay take a look here at the team we're gonna look at the roster see what the story is that is what it comes down to so there's some good players on the jets i will say uh aaron Rodgers, though four-year-old quarterback don't know how long that's gonna be our quarterback for, but um, you know we'll we'll see. We'll let it we'll let it rock for now. Uh, Brees Hall is obviously our top halfback, which is nice to see. No fullbacks, wide receivers. We got Garrett Wilson, Mike Williams, and Alan Lazard, so that's pretty good. Uh, Tyler Conklin, tight end. We have got Jeremy Ruckert, uh, Ferkser is there too. Okay, some decent pieces. Tyron Smith, left tackle. Uh, then we have left guard. We've got John Simpson, uh, Wes Schweitzer. Joe Tittman's going to be our center, which is pretty cool. We've got right guard, uh, Elijah Vera Tucker. Uh, right tackle, we've got Morgan Moses. Pretty cool stuff there. Left end, Jermaine Johnson the second. Right end, we got Hassan Reddick, Will McDonald the fourth. Okay, all right, some decent pieces there. Quinn Williams, defensive tackle. John Kinlaw's the other top defensive tackle on the team. Sherwood's going to be our left outside linebacker. Middle linebackers, we've got C.J. Mosley and Zaire Barnes. Right outside linebacker, Quincy Williams and Sam uh, Guavone. And then we've got Sauce Gardner, corner, D DJ Reed Jr. And then Michael Carter, the second. Top three corners, Tony Adam, free safety. And we have uh, Chuck Clark as our strong safety. Kicking is Greg Zerline. Punting is Thomas Moore Stead. There's your pick situation. We have a Detroit pick this year as well. And an extra Denver pick in 2026. So... Jets are balling. The Jets are balling. Uh, let's take a look here at the improved team just to see if there's anybody we want to add to the squad. Uh, I mean, we could pick up a fullback if we really wanted to. We could pick somebody up. But um, I'm, not, I'm not quite leaning there. Centers... I think we're fine with Tim and we could go with McGovern, but I'm not gonna do that. Right outside linebacker who's out there that might be better. I could go I'm gonna go with Zach Cunningham. I'm gonna pick him up for the season. We're gonna pick Zach Cunningham up just to improve that right outside linebacker spot a little bit. And then I think I mean I could go with Hyde as our free safety. I think I'm gonna do that because he fits the scheme. Uh, except we're a little over the cap, so we can't do that. Um, unfortunately. Unfortunately. So we can't quite do that. Uh, we could make a trade to maybe free up some money and then do it. Which I might do since... Would I, why wouldn't I want to hide at an 87 overall, right? So let me see what's out there in the market. See if there's anybody that we could potentially move and try to free up a little more cap room. Maybe get a pick. So we'll see. Let's see what's out there in the market and I'll see you guys once I have a trade. Ruckert, Hennessy, and Fotu to the Browns. We're getting a sixth round pick this year and a seventh round pick next year. So I'm just going to sign like Tyus Bowser, going to pick up a left outside linebacker. I'm also going to try to get myself, if there's any left guards out there that we could add, potentially. Um, or we, yeah, okay, we'll go math. So that for, that works. Okay, I, I think that's it. I was going to try to get Hyde, but we're still over the cap. So not a big deal. Um, we got ourselves an extra sixth rounder and seventh rounder. I still think our team is going to be pretty good. So we'll see how well we do, though. I mean, that's remains to be seen how well we do. Uh, but yeah, uh, we're going to fix up the schemes, and I'll see you guys in the midseason. We'll assess the team going from there. All right, so as you can see, we're having a good season, 5-2 and two in our first year. So far, so good. Now let's look at the stats so far on the season, and um, I mean, Aaron Rodgers is doing well. The only thing with Aaron Rodgers is obviously he's 40, so I mean, he's probably going to retire. 
Uh, but he's having a good season. 1,046 yards, 11 TDs, 2 interceptions, 73% complete percentage, 110 one passer rating. Brees Hall, 523-5 on the rush. Allen, 105-1, 75 one from Rodgers. Wilson, top receiver, 382-5 and five TDs, 329 from Conklin. Lazar with 319-2, and 22-22-2. Two. Lots of twos there from Williams. Uh, sacks allowed, you can see... Uh, Morgan Rose with three, a couple guys here with two, and a couple guys with one, so not too bad on the blocking. Defensively, 56 tackles from Quincy Williams, 49 from C.J. Mosley, 38 from Reed Jr., Chuck Clark, 33, 29 from the sauciest man alive, Sauce Gardner, 24 from Williams, Kinlaw, 23, as well as Adams, and 21 from Johnson, the second, Reddick with 20, and he also had eight sacks so far, that's great. Four from uh, Quinn Williams, Quincy Williams with... Two, same thing with Johnson, and one and a half there from Clemens, a couple guys with one, and then a half sack from Michael Carter, the second. Interceptions, two guys with two, and two guys with one. Zero line's perfect on the kicking, there's your punting, kick return, and punt return. So, let's look at the team stats real quick, just to see what we're looking at and dealing with. I mean, we're not going to make any moves right now, uh, we'll have to take a look to see the contracts are looking like, if we can extend anybody or want to extend anybody. Uh, let's see. Six in offensive points per game, tenth in pass yards, pass yards, thirteenth in rush. Opponents points per game, twenty first, twenty sixth in opponent pass yards, and thirteenth in rush yards. With the Patriots this week, hope we can beat them. But before we do, let's just take a look here at the situation. There's a lot of guys up for free agency. Um, so yeah, we're gonna try to see if we re-sign a lot of these guys. I'm gonna try to offer some contracts. We have some contract. Renego you know, construct reconstruction to do as well. So it'd be fun. Let me see if I can keep some of these guys around. Uh, that would be the goal. Uh, Mike Williams, I'm on the fence. All right, we're close. Whatever. Should be able to keep him around. Reddick. Hopefully, we can keep him around. On that kind of offer. Okay. Yep. He signs. So that's fine. Like DJ Reed, you can give him like a. Nice little cheeky contract. And again, we can always restructure. Smith, he's probably thinking about not wanting to stay. Okay, he wants to test. That's fine. Conklin, we'll go with that. Oh, didn't mean to do that. We'll go with that. That should work. Okay, we just need to work on the bonus. That's fine. Uh, anybody else here? Wanna run? Uh, we could keep Chuck Clark around. Throw you a little, a little less. And you could sign. Perfect. Alright, I think uh, for now, I'm going to wait it out on the rest of these guys. Obviously, Sauce Gardner's got an option. So does Wilson, Jermaine Johnson. So we're good there on those guys. But yeah, let me uh, add on to the uh, playoffs. And I, again, I imagine we'll be there. Like I said, we're five and two. Dolphins are five and one though, so if we make it, it's probably gonna be as a Walker team. You're thirteen and four on the season. That's a great year, I have to say. Thirteen and four. Was not expecting this to be that good, but yeah, we are do have a wild card matchup, and it'll be against the Chargers. Of course, we are at the home team. You can see the rankings there. Twenty-five point nine points for us. Fifth in both of the pass yards as well. We got Rush eleventh, tenth in opponents points per game, nineteenth in opponent pass yards, and first in rush yards. So. I mean, the advantages that the Chargers have against us, I mean, not too big of advantages, but all right, cool. Let's take a look at the stats, see how well we did. The problem is, what are we going to do next year? Because I think Rodgers is going to retire, so I'm going to have to get a quarterback. 3,818 yards, 33 TDs, 8 interceptions from him, 71% completion percentage, and 109.3 passer rating. Resaw, 1,210 yards, 12 TDs, he was great. Uh, Allen, 266-4 and four, is a backup, which we love. Alan Lazard, 8, 85 and 5 TDs, 826 and 8 from Mike Williams. Garrett Wilson, 823 and 9, 742 and 3 from Tyler Conklin. So good to see that. Blocking, we got sacks allowed. Moses with 6, 4 from Smith. Tittman and finally with 3. And then Shawnee with 2 and Elijah Vera Tucker, 1 sack allowed. 128 tackles from Quincy Williams, nice. Mosley with 92, 74 from Clark. Adam, 64, 61 from William, uh, Quinton, Quinton Williams. 59 from Reed Jr., 58 from Kinlaw, 55 from Gardner, Carter the second, 53, 49 from Johnson the second, Reddick with 46. He also had 11 sacks on the season. Nine from Quinn and Williams, 
Six from Johnson the second, and it just keeps going down from there. I could see a bunch of guys with interceptions. Four guys with three and a couple guys with one. So 14 total interceptions as a team. Zerline, you're kicking, you got your punting, kick and punt return. There we go. Okay, it worked. So now we have the matchup of the century, so to speak. I wouldn't say the matchup of the century, but yeah, let's see if we can beat the Chargers here. I'll see you guys on the wild card. I imagine we can win this, or we should win it. We have the clear advantage over them. So I'll see you guys in the Super Sim. All right, here we go. Let's hop on to the Super Sim. We're going to jump forward to the end of the game by doing the Super Sim. So first blood will go to the Chargers. It looks like, no, never mind. It won't. Nobody scored. We finally score. Okay, 3-0, then they tie it up. Third quarter, they take the lead, 6-3. We are really struggling to score. 9-3, finally score. 10-9, ooh, we got to slow it down. Okay, second and six. We have two timeouts. Chargers are in position to take the lead here. I mean, yeah, they're in the, they're in the position to take the lead. And they just got a first down, it looks like. Nope, third and inches, though. Minute and 17, and they called a timeout. The issue is if they get a first down here, it's dangerous for us. All right, well, they're going to just possibly score a touchdown. Okay. Well, now we're down 15 to 10 somehow, and they're going to go for two here. So we got a minute 11 right here. Let's see if they get the, the two-point conversion or if we could stop them. We do stop them from getting it at least, so... I mean, now if we score a touchdown, we can at least win the game. But we have to score a touchdown. Two timeouts left. It is doable. It is certainly doable. Let's see where we're going to end up on the kickoff. Oh, we run right into the guy that's blocking for us. Okay, minute six to go. We're at the 30-yard line or just a little bit behind it. So, Rodgers, work your magic. All right, broke the, broke the tackle there. Okay. Clock is a ticking. Second and five. You need some big yardage here. And we throw a pick. Well, there's the game. There is the game. Derwin James Jr. just picks it off. I'm very familiar with Derwin James Jr. picking off balls. And you don't need to do all that crap. But okay. So there we go. I mean, that's great. That's just really great. I get to hop in and watch that. That is phenomenal stuff right there. I mean, the game is over. Like, there's really no need to watch the rest of this. But I am, because why not? So, yeah. All-time choke job, right? Well, I don't know about all-time choke job, but definitely pretty bad. Third and 11. They're just going to take one more knee. We don't have any timeouts left, so. Fourth and 12, and that's it. Clock runs down. And they are going to punt. But they're not. Oh, wow. They actually are going to punt. out of play so there you go doesn't matter game is over as the chargers win 15 to 10 they didn't even need to punt they could have just let the thing go down uh Tannehill was somehow a key player with zero tds zero yards and a zero completion percentage i don't understand that why is he a key player I don't understand that. Why not? Uh, why not Herbert? I guess because he got hurt. Okay, so he got hurt. Interesting. Okay, I, I don't understand that EA, but all right, cool. Wow, oh, Dallas Kansas City Super Bowl, and Kansas City wins. Chris Jones, Super Bowl MVP. Dak Prescott was the MVP. Our coach, Robert Sala, was the coach of the year. And got eliminated in the, the uh, wild, uh, wild card rounds. That's great. Offense player of the year, it's Dak Prescott. Defense player of the year, Max Crosby. Bears, Caleb Williams. Offense rookie of the year, defense rookie of the year, Jared Verse from the Rams. Congratulations, everybody. Let's head on to the off season. Time to negotiate some contracts here. So, obviously, we're keeping sauce around. The dude's a 99 overall. Why would we not? Wilson, obviously. We're going to accept his fifth year option. Why wouldn't we, right? Mike Williams, time to negotiate you. Hopefully we could get 
him back. I assume that this will work. Yeah, I probably overpaid, honestly, but that's fine. Except the option on Johnson. And now it's time to get everybody else here back. So let me see who else I can get back and... I'll let you guys know who is going to be testing. All right, so all these guys here want to test. That's fine. I, it's really not big. We got most of the good guys back. Now, I just need to double check here because I didn't see the retirement skin past that. Is, is Aaron Rodgers still here? He is still on my team. So, okay. I mean, all right. He's still here. He didn't retire. All right, well, let's just advance to the free agency, try to see if we can add some more talent. You can see the final rankings there. Clearly, though, not enough to win, so let's head on to the uh, free agency. All right, so I got a few guys in mind that I want to try to go after, so I'm going to do set stuff. Let's see if we can pick up a few guys here and um, try to add some more talent to the team. That's what it comes down to, so see you guys once I have some offers on the table. So let's view the free agency recap here. I mean, I feel like we did all right. I mean, we got Hyde, Kendricks, Conklin back on the team, Isaiah Wynn, Kevin Givens, uh, Chris Barnes, Akeem Davis got here, and then uh, Patrick Carr. So there we go. I think it's okay. It's nothing crazy. Uh, we got the draft, which we're going to head to. Um, I'm going to try to see if we can get ourselves, you know, some better talent uh in the draft and obviously yeah we got a first round pick so i'll show you guys who we take and try to get some more people to join the jets and try to build upon the season we had last year so i'm gonna make my selection here so i'm gonna pick i don't know who to pick though i'm just seeing something okay stop moving all right i was making sure all right i think it's kind of an obvious pick i'm gonna go with calvin scott I need a left outside linebacker, so we're going to take Calvin Scott um, for my team. I think it was a decent pick, but, you know, it's all right. I mean, I, de I definitely need a left outside linebacker, and I don't think he was going to be there. So I'll make the rest of my picks, uh, and then I'll show you guys a draft recap. All right, let's take a look here at the draft recap. So I'm going to view the contract details on all the rookies we got. So yeah, obviously we got Scott and wanted him, but we also got a uh, pretty good defensive tackle at Woodley. We got Quinn Ewers, uh, QB, I guess in the third round, not terrible. Hopefully he can learn from Rodgers while he's here, but you know, all right, it, it works for me. Let's head on to the second season, see how well we fare. All right, so let's look at the roster. We seem okay. Uh, we still, we've got some good players. I mean, Aaron Rodgers still here, still around. So that works for me. Not sure if he'll be here next year, but Paul's going to be our uh, running back. He's our halfback. We, then we have Allen there backing him up. No fullbacks. Wide receiver Garrett Wilson. We've got Mike Williams and Corley as well. In terms of tight ends, Tyler Conklin is going to be our tight end. Left tackle is uh, Fashanu, who is looking really good. We've got Isaiah Wynn as our left guard. Simpson backing him up. Center is going to be Joe Tipman still. Right guard is Elijah Vera Tucker. Right tackle, we've got Makari, which is okay. Uh, you know, a little thin on the right tackle. Jermaine Johnson, the second. Left end. Right end's going to be Son Reddick, top guy. Quinn Williams, defensive tackle. Kelvin, uh, Kevin Gil uh, Givens is going to be our uh, other tackle. Then we have uh, Calvin Scott, who we drafted. Left outside linebacker, middle linebacker, Mosley. Hendricks is up there. Barnes. Right outside linebacker is still going to be Quincy Williams. And then we have uh, the Sauce Man Alive, Sauce Gardner, corner, 99 overall. DJ Reed Jr. and then Michael Carter the second. In terms of free safeties, we got Hyde, which is pretty cool. Uh, Adams and Bernard Converse also there too. Chuck Clark still strong, say the only hurt right now. Kicking is Zerline and punting is Morstead. Okay. Now... Is this team going to be good again? I mean, I would assume we should be pretty solid. Let's just take a look here at the improved team. If there's any way we can, well, improve the team, right? Uh, if there's any fullbacks out there, I mean, I wouldn't mind trying to get one, but it doesn't really look like there is. Right tackles. Uh, nothing crazy. Left outside linebacker. No. Obviously strong safety because Chuck Clark's hurt. 
I mean, Eddie Jackson's out there. We could theoretically sign Eddie Jackson if we really wanted to. Do we want to get Eddie Jackson for the season? We could. I'm actually not going to do that, though. I'm going to try to see if we could trade for a better right tackle. I don't know if I want McCurry my starting right tackle. So I'm going to look around the trade market, see if there's anybody we can acquire that's an upgrade. Um, and, yeah, maybe another left outside linebacker, too. All right, done deal here. First round pick this year and a sixth round pick in 2028 for uh, Malfay and Lucas from the Seahawks as well as a fourth round pick this year. Uh, you know, get ourselves another right tackle and a left outside linebacker uh, for the roster. Now, let's see how we do this season. I mean, I feel like we should be, still be pretty solid. Um, yeah, that's pretty much about it. I think we'll, we'll be pretty good. That's the goal is to try to be good, win win some games i mean had a great year last year but then it was horrible in the playoffs so hopefully we can get back there and not be horrible in the playoffs we're struggling two and five not good whatsoever so that is not good why are we not good well let's see um aaron Rodgers is not very good this year okay the age is starting to show 1450 yard yards he's throwing 10 interceptions which is not very good that's too many interceptions hall 373 and 378 and three on rush receiving wise wilson 404 1 td 317 2 from conklin carly 2 uh corley 291 and 2 229 and 3 from williams on the receiving end the blocking yep kari not uh not good enough what are we doing shawnee with two sacks one or uh, sacks allowed one from mitchell and tipman yeah six so far early in the season is not great Hopefully, we can be better in the second half. C.J. Mosley, 52 tackles, 48 from Williams, Clark, 40. And uh, really, not a lot of other guys with more than 30, 40 tackles. Five and a half sacks from Reddick oh, so far. That's good. A couple guys with two, a few guys with one, and then a half sack there from Michael Carter, the second. Interception, just four. His team sauce, two. A couple guys with one. There's Erline kicking, punting, kick, and punt return. Yeah. All right. Um... Well, I mean, we're two and five, so the season might be a bit of a wash, and obviously I don't have my first round pick, so, and we might lose here to the Bengals as well, so we might be going two and six, even though on paper we're a very talented team, it's just, just the EA simulation engine is, uh, doesn't believe so. All right, Hall, we gotta keep him around, so let's see if we can, that might be all right, yep, it's perfect, good. There are Tucker. This should be good. Yeah, that's fine. I'm not even going to adjust it. Because, again, we can always just restructure these contracts when we get to that point in the season, uh, which is would be the off season, And we're going to have to do that anyway. We're going to have to restructure contracts. So it's, it's not a big deal. Uh, this should hopefully get CJ to stay on the team. Okay, whatever. It's fine. doesn't matter. All right, everybody else here is fine. I mean, Aaron Rodgers, I mean, he wants, he might not retire, but he also might retire. I, I might move him because I just think that he's at that age. So I think we might as well just try to see if we can get something for him, especially with this season, just kind of a bit of a wash. So, yeah, let's let's just see if we can move him for something. All right, Aaron Rodgers going to the Commanders. A second-round pick this year, fourth-round pick, and a sixth-round pick. Uh, just trying to get back some picks, and yeah, the Commanders, uh, we're giving them Aaron Rodgers. So we're going to be rocking with a new QB, rest of the season, and uh, yeah, the young guy. So, I mean, can Quinn do his thing? I mean, I don't know. It might also have Travis over him. I, we'll see. But uh, one of them are going to play. We're going younger. I guess this, obviously, we weren't very good. Uh, we weren't good enough in the playoffs, and now we're not great this season, so we might as well just kind of wash it out and start actually, yeah, maybe twink, twink, tweaking this team up a little bit. So I think this year is a bit of a wash. Hopefully next year we can maybe get back on the right track, and then by the fourth season we'll be where we need to be. Here are the team rankings. Uh, we ended up going 8-9 on the season. So we actually didn't do, end up doing that bad as, you, as I thought it would. We still didn't make the playoffs, but it's fine. You see, offensively, we actually ended up doing pretty solid. Defensively, a little bit weak, but okay. 
Okay, let's see the stats and see what the story has to tell us. So, Quinn was not bad in the games he played. 20 TDs, 4 interceptions, 104.9 passer rating, 60% completion percentage. Yeah, it's solid in the amount of games he played. Brees Hall, 1,135 yards, 14 TDs. Allen, 227 to 4, 227 to 2 from viewers. In terms of receiving yards, Garrett Wilson, 1,108 yards, 4 TDs, 1,699 for Malachi Corley. Mike Williams, 736, 10 TDs, 636 and 5 from Conklin. All right. Sacks allowed. Yeah, McCarry did better. Uh, only allowed 6 for the entire season. Then we had his win, 6, 5 from Lucas Ford from Alex Ford. Okay, a lot of our right tackles are giving up sacks. And as you can see there, a couple guys with two and a few guys with one. In terms of tackles, CJ Mosley, 107, 87 apiece between Clark and Williams, 65 from Reed Jr., 62 from Quinn and Williams, 57 from Hyde, 56 from Carter the second, 53 from Reddick and Gardner, then 50 from Jermaine Johnson. The second, Reddick, 14 and a half sacks. That's awesome to see. Eight and a half from Quinn and Williams, four and a half from Jermaine Johnson. The second, three there from Clemens, Mosley, one and a half, one from Williams, and a bunch of guys that have a sack. Interceptions, three from Gardner. A few guys with two and a few guys with one. In total, 12 interceptions. There's Zerline kicking, punting Morstead. Kick, punt, return. All right. So we actually could possibly make the playoffs next year, See, depending on how we do. We'll have a little bit of money to play around with. I'm going to do some contract restructuring in the offseason. So you can add some more talent to the team. Hopefully some of the guys develop. We don't have our first round pick this year, but that's okay. We have two seconds, so we should be okay. And yeah, let's uh, advance on to see who wins the Super Bowl. And uh, let's see the playoff bracket. I'll just show you guys in case you want to make a prediction. Okay. Cowboys in the bottom right. 49ers. Okay, cool. Cool, very cool. You guys see the rest of the guys. All right. Yeah, let's head on to the offseason. Oh, Kansas City, San Francisco it was Kansas City this year. Uh, Patrick Mahomes was the Super Bowl MVP and the NFL MVP. Doug Peterson, coach of the year for the Jaguars. Ravens, Lamar Jackson, offensive player of the year, defensive player of the year was Parsons from the Cowboys. Jalen Miller, offensive rookie of the year. Saints, Eagles, Daniel Van Dyke, defensive rookie of the year. Congratulations. Let's head on to the offseason. All right, we got about almost $33 million in cap. We're pretty close. I'm going to try to see if we can keep around some of these players. Uh, that is the goal. Okay, Lucas wants to test. Can we franchise tag? Yeah, it's too much. All right. Cool stuff. Uh, any of these guys have options? No, not too much. There's really not that many guys. I mean, if they want to test, they test. Oh, we'll just have to... Oh, yeah, McDonald the fourth has an option, so we'll accept his. Okay. Everybody else, though, yeah, we'll just try to see if we can get back on the team and uh, go on from there. All right, so Lucas wants to test. I mean, that's fine. It's not a big deal if he tests. We'll have a little bit of money before restructuring, and then we'll have more after we restructure, since that's what we're going to do. Restructure, right? So, there's some good talent here. I'm not going to lie. I'm seeing Zach Martin. I definitely want to try to pry him away from the Cowboys. That would be fantastic. I mean, Barrett Tucker's a good right guard, but we're talking Zach Martin right there, man. That's a superstar, even though he's 35. But yeah, right, let's see what we can get. It's not an amazing class, but there's some guys here that would be beneficial to adding to our team. So let me restructure some contracts and see if we can get some free agents to come sign with the Jets. All right, let's do the free agency recap. And, uh, yeah, we got Zach Martin, as you just saw. That's a big pickup right there. Let's go Devin DuVernay, um, Terrell Bernard, another mid linebacker, And then I got Jack Conklin. So uh, just a replacement there for Lucas. That's fine, though. We should be still all right. I like the way, I like the moves we made. So, yeah, we're going to go on free, uh, to the draft. So, free agency's over. We'll see who we pick up and try to see if we make the playoffs again this year. All right, draft recap. View the contract. And, uh, yeah, we got some good pieces here. I like the uh, guys we drafted. Uh, so, we're adding them, to the, adding them to the team. So, Couple of linemen, I see some tight ends, some linebackers, some safeties. Beautiful stuff. All right, let's head on to the next season in here. And this is the roster. Very nice stuff. Let's see. I mean, yeah, Quinn coming off a nice season where he played 
a decent amount of it once we traded Aaron Rodgers. So hopefully he can keep it going. Hall's up to a 91, and we got Allen bagging him up. So I like that. No fullbacks, wide receivers, uh, Garrett Wilson. Uh, Malachi Corley coming off a good year. And then we got Mike Williams still. We got DuVernay might uh, take his spot. Uh, Tyler Conklin as our top tight end still. Uh, Sean, who's got a left tackle. Got right uh, left guard there, Isaiah Wynn. Center's going to be still Joe Tipman. Right guard, we've got Zach Martin now. Vera Tucker's still there. And then we also have uh, Clayton Kinney. So we're good on right guard. Uh, Conklin going to be our right tackle uh, to start. Johnson, the second, is our left end. Reddick's going to be our right end. Defensive tackle, Quinn and Williams. Okay, Slaughter, Woodley, all those guys. All right. Mothbay is going to be our left outside linebacker. Then we got Calvin Scott. Middle linebacker, CJ Mosley. Then we got Terrell Bernard. Okay, right outside linebacker, Quincy Williams. And then corners, Gardner, Reed Jr., and Carter, the second. Beautiful stuff. Free safeties, Hyde. Strong safety, Clark. Kicking, we don't have a kicker because and no punter. So we're going to have to pick up a kicker and a punter. No more Zerline, no more Morstead. So let's just do that real quick, and then we'll do what we need to do. So we go to the improved team. And, yeah, kicker. We're going to go with Aubrey. Makes sense. Y yes. And then punter. We're going to go with Kamara because it just makes sense. All right. So there we go. That's going to be the squad for this season. We'll see how well we do. I, fe I feel like we should still be pretty good, but, you know, you never know with EA. So let's see what happens. I'll see you guys at the midseason. Or hopefully we're having a good year and uh, have a chance to be in the playoffs. All right. So 3-3 three and three right now. It's not amazing. But we're in the hunt. Um, I mean, Quinn's having an all right season. He's not throwing a lot, but he, when he does throw, 10 TDs, 1 interception, 70% completion percentage, 111.2 pass rating, but he's 1,212 yards. Not bad. 541 and 7 there from Brees Hall. He's our top running back, and Allen's up there. He's our backup. Uh, Corley, 339, 4 TDs, top receiver. Then we've got Wilson, 2631 TD, 204 from Devin. Conklin, 144 and 1, 121 and 2 from Reese Hall. He's doing it all, man. Sacks allowed. Uh, Shanu, 3, and then a few guys here with 1. Uh, in terms of our tackles on defense, CJ leading the way with 42, 38 from Williams, 33 from DJ Reed Jr., Quinn Williams, 27, 26 from Carter, the second, Gardner, 26. Kind of just dips down from there. Sacks, 8.5 from Williams, 3.5 from Woodley, 3 from Reddick, 2 from Mosley. Boya Mafe with 1, a couple guys with half. And then just interceptions, 3. That's all we have. There's your kicking, punting, kick return, punt return. All right, see the team rankings. So we're going to look at that now. And 6th uh, in offensive points per game. Pass yards 25th, 8th in rush. 13th at opponent's points per game, pass yards 12th on the opponent's side, and third in opponent rush yards a game. All right, we got some negotiations. Not sure how much money we're going to have, but a little bit of money. Of course, I got to keep Sauce. I mean, we got to keep this man at all costs. Like, it's just, come on now. Yeah, you're going to sign that, making sure he signs. Garrett Wilson, we got to keep you at all costs too, honestly, but the problem is we are over the budget. So right now, probably... Really not gonna be able to keep some of these guys until I restructure contracts. Yeah, that's that's all I could do right now. We're gonna restructure in the off season. Uh, yeah, Sean's got an option, which is nice. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna be curious to see if we could even like make a trade, and if we wanted to make a trade, we can and we should. 15 million. I'm gonna see what's out there. Try to see if we can bolster up this team a little bit deal here williams is getting traded for a first second third pick this year as well as second pick next year we're getting higgins stone and battle from the Bengals. so big move there with the Bengals getting a big town upgrade better wide receiver and some better safeties let's see what happens the rest of the way i will see you guys at the end of the season i imagine we should be playoff bound All right we ended up going 11 and 6 
on the season. You can see the team rankings here. Seventh in offense points per game. Eighth in uh, pass yards. Seventh in rush. Ninth in opponent's points per game. Twentieth in pass yards. And first in opponent rush. And, uh, yeah, we're taking on the Texans. Should be a fun matchup. Let's take a look at the stats on the season here. And, uh, yeah, good good year from Quinn. 3,880 yards, 30 TDs, 6 interceptions, 68% complete percentage, and a 105.5 passer rating. Hall, 1,224 rush yards, 10 TDs, 327 and 8 from Braylon Allen, 261 from Ewers, so that's good. Uh, 1,018 yards and 9 TDs from T. Higgins, 868 and 3 from Garrett Wilson, Malachi Corley, 683 and 8, 650 and 4 from Duvernay, 642 and 2 from Conklin, so good stuff there on the receiving, I would say. Sacks allow Conklin with eight, seven from Shanu, uh, Vera Tucker, four, four from Tittman, three from Zach Barton. He did awesome. Defensively, 115 tackles from CJ, Quincy Williams, 107, 86 from Jordan Battle, 75 from Carter the second. Williams and Sauce Gardner, 61 apiece. And yeah, I mean, listen, team did well there. Sacks, 13 and a half from Quinn and Williams, 10 from Woodley. Oof, that's nice. Nine and a half there from Reddick. Four and a half from CJ, three from Johnson, the second two from Slaughter. Couple guys one and a few guys that have sack. Didn't show you guys the interceptions. I accidentally pressed the R two button. Just five interceptions. Stone two and a few guys with one. So a little weak on that front. Kicking, punting, kick return, punt return. All right. So let's head on to the wild card. Let's see if we can beat the Texans. Oh, I'm like, why is my thing? Wait, why is my controller not moving? Okay, there we go. Uh, yeah, all right. <laughs> so why is my controller not moving? So yeah, let's, let's see if we can beat the Texans here. We are going to NRG Stadium. Let's see if we can win the game on the road and advance to the divisional. Here we go. Divisional bound, perhaps. That's assuming we can win. But uh, we got to win the wild card here against Houston. Let's see if we can do it. Simulating to the end of the game. First blood will go to us. We're up 3-0. And we're going to make it 10-0 now. Now it'll be 10-3. And they tied it up. Second half, we go up 17-10. They make it 17-13. We go up 24-13. Going to the fourth quarter. Can we score here? We do just that. And we're going to end up winning this football game, looks like. 31-20. And advance on to divisional. Wonderful stuff there. From your Jets. As we advance to the divisional Quinn had a nice game two TDs to under 186 yards 77.1 completion percentage outplayed CJ Stroud and the Texans in the divisional we got the Bengals who we made that trade with uh they are 13-4 they're gonna pay core stadium I mean theoretically you'd think they'd be weaker because we took away their guys also don't know where Jamar Chase is so if they don't have Jamar Chase I don't see how we can lose this game but then again it's possible that we do you see the rankings comparatively i mean the ones that they have the advantage in we're not far behind in them so all right cool let's see the super sim see if we beat the Bengals and go on to the conference championship game can we win it pay core stadium oscars pizza very nice jump forward to the end of the game first blood will go to us we're up 7-0 get a stop 14-0 end of the first quarter and we go up 20, oh, no, it's not, no, just 17, never mind. 17 to 7 now, and they're on their way to score. They're only down three. And fourth quarter, we are now down. We go normal speed here, just in case. Got to score here so we can take the lead. Good 12-yard reception there. Eight-yard rush by Allen, very nice. 12-yard reception for Yarborough. And an interception. Now, isn't that great? That's fantastic. And they are going to score here, it looks like. Second and five. Third and five. Yep, of course. Shout out to EA Sim Engine, man. Nine-yard reception. We're just going to go slow. I mean, it's over. Looks like we choked this game. We were up 17-0, and we just... I don't know, man. Minute 13, third and goal. We got to get a, if we got to stop here, they get a field goal, we might have a shot. 
Nope, run it right in, and the game is over. We don't even need, we don't even care. Don't care, game is over, no shot to win. All right, we can jump forward to the end of the game since it's over. We'll just jump fast, and that is it. 20 to 17, somehow we lose that game. Don't understand it, um, but at the same time, can't win when you can't score, so our team just decided to stop scoring and um, couldn't defend either. It's, it's going to happen. Uh, yep, got outplayed there, but again, we have two more seasons, and Quinn's going to keep getting better, so I'm not too stressed about it. But at the same time, time is ticking for the video. So we got to get that job done at some point if we want to get that Super Bowl, but it is steps in the right direction. I will say that. That's for sure. So see you guys at the Super Bowl recap. See who wins it. We'll go on to the next season. So, the Super Bowl, 49ers and Chiefs again. This time, the 49ers win it. Isn't that crazy? Brock Pretty was the Super Bowl MVP. Joe Burrow, NFL MVP. Mike McCarthy, Coach of the Year for the Cowboys. Isaiah Pacheco, Chiefs, Offense Player of the Year. Defense Player of the Year was the Lions, Aiden Hutchinson. We had Roger Craig, Ravens. Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year was Juwan Jarrett. All right, let's head on to the offseason. All right, so at the offseason, uh, I already showed you guys the who we won. And yeah, we got a few contracts, got some options here. Now I am over the cap. I am over the cap. So there's a few guys here I want to keep, but again, when we're 11 million over, it's gonna be a little bit tough. So I'm gonna have to do some contract restructuring and hopefully get some of these guys back. Like I don't want to lose Wilson. So let me see if I can restructure and uh, we'll see if we can keep and who's gonna test. All right, so a little bit of bad news. Cannot keep Tipman and Wilson together. Kamara wants to also test. I'm not going to franchise tag them, but I'm going to have to franchise tag Garrett Wilson, which means I will be over the cap, uh, unfortunately. So, Tipman is basically gone. And I don't want to lose Wilson. So, yes. A little annoying, but it's all good. Uh, it's part of the process. So obviously, since we don't have any free agents, we're just going to the draft, and whatever picks we have, we'll try to see if we can add some more talent that way. I mean, it's not going to be too many picks. Curious to see what kind of free, ad free agents we're missing out on. And, um, okay, I mean, some decent pieces, but nothing too crazy. See, obviously, Tittman can't keep him over the cap, so we're just going to have to figure that out. Uh, hopefully, you know, some of the guys develop, draft, things of that nature. So I'm just going to see see who we draft, and uh, we'll get on to it. i show you the draft recap. Obviously, not many picks, so... I think we kind of just want best talent available. Uh, I don't know why the game is loading really slow. So, yeah, we got ourselves a couple of wide receivers of free safety in a corner. <laughs> That's pretty much it. Uh, so, yeah, I'll see you guys in the fourth season. So, here we go. Let's take a look here at the roster. I don't know where I'm going. Just be going here. Yeah, the one thing, the one issue we're going to have is obviously cap room and trying to keep around the team. I still think we're going to be pretty good. Obviously, Quinn's our QB. Uh, running backs, Hall, Allen, and Davis, top three guys, and only three guys. No fullbacks, at least I don't think, because <laughs> the game is not loading very fast right now. Wilson, Higgins, Corley, top three receivers. Tight end, we've got Macklin, Conklin, and Yarbrough. So Macklin's now the starting tight end. Left tackle still Fashanu. Isaiah Wynn, left guard. Center's going to be Parker Steinbeck. Uh, Steinbeck, so he's hurt right now, but we also have Benjamin Lilly. It's not great. Right guard. Zach Martin, Elijah Barrett Tucker, and Kinney. They're pretty good. Uh, right tackle, Conklin, Farrell, and Ford. Left end, we've got Johnson, the second. Right end's going to be Hassan Reddick still. McDonald, the fourth, backing him up. Defensive tackles, Quinn and Williams. Slaughter's also there, too. we got Woodley and Bradley. Left side linebacker, Maffe. Calvin Scott is uh, backing him up. Bernard is our only middle linebacker. Right side linebacker, Williams. Quincy Williams. And then we also have Davis Gothier and then uh, Barmore and Small. Corners, Gardner, Reed Jr., and Carter, the second top three dudes. Free safety, Stone. Strong safety, Battle. Kicking is Aubrey. Punting is Jeremiah Robinson. So, yeah. Some weak spots on the team for sure, but I do think we're still going to be pretty good. Uh, obviously, I can't make trades. This is going to be the team. I'm going to adjust the schemes to make sure we have the best fit available for our team. And I'll see you guys once I'm at the midseason, perhaps. So, let's take a look here at the standings. We're currently sitting at 3-4 and four right now. 
Um, you know, 10th in offensive points per game, 5th in pass yards, rush yards, 99, 13th, 19th in opponent's points per game, 20th in pass yards, and 4th in rush. But, uh, yeah, you know, a little, little, little off this year. But I still think we have time to win. So let's see here. What are we looking at? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, it's close. It's it's very close. Uh, hopefully we have a good second half of the season. I mean, that's what it comes down to. Let's look at the stats, see what the story has to tell us. I mean, Quinn's been solid. 1,750 yards, 10 TDs, 4 interceptions, 60% complete percentage, 90 point for pass rating. It's doable. Brees Hall, 453, 9 TDs, 162 and 2 from viewers. Uh, receiving wise, Corley is our top guy, 497, 3, 354 and 2 from Macklin Higgins. 341, 333 from Wilson. Blocking, how we doing on that front? I mean, three sacks left from Martin, that's not bad. Two from Fashanu. And Steinbach's been actually pretty decent. And then Conklin with one. Defensively, 55 tackles from Bernard. 47 from Williams. Battle with 40. 26 from Williams. Quinn, Quinn Williams, that is. Three slaughters, 26, as well as Stone. 24 piece, Reed Jr., Carter the second. Gardner, 22. Goes on from there. Sacks, five and a half there from Williams, three from Reddick Johnson, two and a half, one and a half from Maffe, one apiece between Williams and Slaughter, half sack there from Bernard. Interceptions, two from Reed Jr. and a few guys with one. Kicking, Aubrey, punting, kick return, and punt return right there. So, I would say that's solid. I would say that's pretty solid. Let's take a look then at uh, the rest of the league here. I'm just going to go back because I want to see what the situation cap-wise is looking like. So negotiations. We do have a little bit of money. Obviously, want to keep around Quinn Williams. So if I could sign him now, that would be great. Uh, I don't know if I can afford him. I can't. I can, can I afford Garrett Wilson? I can. So if I throw you thirteen and a half million, I wasn't looking to return, but it's getting real tempting. He says. So that's gonna be a problem because I really needed him to accept that. Because then I could actually restructure and get Quinn Williams. Like Quinn Williams, I'm not gonna be able to afford. So I can't lose him either. So. All right, we're gonna see how what we do the rest of the way. I mean, I don't know if we have any money to make trades with we have no money so yeah we're just gonna keep the team as is i feel like we just need to have a good second half of the season and we'll see what happens and they're going 11 and 6 on the season and i mean that's not bad uh pretty good made the playoffs so let's take a look here at the team and see the stats let's, we gotta look at see who did well and who didn't Quinn, 3,780 yards, 24 TDs, 13 interceptions, 66% complete percentage, 90.7 passer rating. Rushing, 1,280 yards from Brees Hall, 14 TDs, 339 and 4 from Ewers. Allen, 195 and 4. Receiving wise, 1,085 and 5 TDs from Corley. Higgins, 836 and 4. 689 and 6 from Macklin. Garrett Wilson, 650 and 3. So in terms of blocking, sacks. Sean, 10, it's a little too many, but it's fine. Conklin, 5, 4 from Martin. And, uh, you know, Cyback, 3, 1 from Vera Tucker. There's your defensive stats here. Tackles, 120 from Bernard. Quinn C. Williams, 107. 86 from Battle. Reed with 67. 67 from Williams. Gardner, 63. 60 from Carter, the second. It kind of just dips from there. Sacks, 15 and a half from Quinn Williams. 9 and a half from Johnson, the second. Reddick, 5 and a half. 2 and a half from Slaughter. Mafe, 2, with a couple guys, 1. Interceptions, four guys with two, and Michael Carter with one. There's Aubrey's kicking, punting from Robinson. Kick return and pop return. So, the question is, can we beat? Can we beat the Jaguars? They're a good team. Let's look at the rankings. We were 12th in points per game in rush, or pass, rush 11th. 10th in opponent's points per game. 26th in pass yards and 3rd in rush yards. You see their rankings. They do have more advantage over us. But, yeah, defensively they're better. Offensively we are better. It's going to be fun. Let's see what happens. I mean, we're just going to go to the Super Sim and 
hopefully try to win. That's that's the goal. Let's uh see what we have here. Go to the super sim. Fast forward. We're going to the end of the game. First blood will go to us. We're up 3-0. They go up 7-3. Can we take the lead? No, nope. 7-6. They're going to make it 14-6. Now 21-6. 21-13. We get a stop. Make it 21-20. Fourth quarter, we're down 8. And... Oh, now it's the fourth quarter. We're down 8. But... Yep, now we're down 15. All right. We're going to go normal speed here. First and 10. Up. Oh, yeah, it's going to be over now. Because our defense can't stop him. Yep, and the game is over. So we lose this game. Uh, 49 to 27. Yikes. Absolutely embarrassing. Um, and that, I mean, luckily we have one more season, but I don't know, man. It's, get, it's getting tough because now we have to get everybody back. I, I was not a fan of the way we played that game. Absolutely terrible. Our defense got lit up. I mean, Quinn had a decent game. Three TDs, 207 yards, 79 and a half completion percentage. But when you give up 49 points, very hard to win a football game like that. So, yeah, that's something we have to prove on. Even though our defense should be better. Ah, it's crazy, right? All right, let's see who wins the Super Bowl and then go on to the fifth and final season. This is Kansas City, San Francisco. San Francisco winning the Super Bowl. Brock Purdy, Super Bowl MVP. Mahomes, NFL MVP, Andy Reid, Short of the Year. CD Lamb, Offensive Player of the Year, Defensive Player of the Year, Parsons. Telvin Beckford, offense rookie of the year, wide receiver for the Commanders, and defense rookie of the year, Broncos, defensive tackle, Sean Hamilton. So Chiefs, Chiefs, Cowboys, Cowboys, Commanders, Broncos. Very nice. All right. Let's head on to the final season, see if we can improve this team. That's, that's the goal. Got to get better defensively, I guess. Big people we got to keep around, Wilson and Williams. I feel like Williams is more likely to re-sign, which means then I could just franchise tag Garrett Wilson again. But the problem with that, though, and I also want to keep Corley around, the problem with that, though, then becomes, well, two things. One, we can't really add any free agents. So really, we're just rocking with the squad as is. That's what it kind of comes down to. So, it, it, you know, it's going to be tough. I mean, like I said, we'll try to see if we can restructure contracts. And, you know, maybe we'll have some money for free agency, but it, it's going to be tough. Obviously, got to make sure we keep Williams around. So... I mean, he has interest in my team, so might as well throw him a contract that hopefully he can't refuse. Okay, just got to make sure I get him back. Gary Wilson, I should be able to franchise tag, hopefully. And we'll see what happens. We are over the cap because I had to franchise tag. I can't sign anybody. I mean, there would be some interesting pieces here that we could add, but unfortunately we can't. So I'm rocking with the team as is. That's really not much I can do about that. Uh, I mean, we could look... I mean, the problem is we could try to trade, but I don't think we can really do that either. I don't know who... Like, there's nobody here that I would really want to trade that has, like... It's going to make me... Yeah, it's not going to make me want to trade. I don't want to trade those guys. They're not going to give me cap room. So, all right. I just Like I said, we're going to go to the draft, fit the final season, and like I said, we're just going to hope for development, and that's that's the best I can do. So, here's the draft recap. And uh, if we view the contract details, uh, we had our first round pick and we got ourselves a left tackle. Uh, pretty solid. And we got a couple corners, a strong safety, and another center. Uh, and that's it. So, fifth and final season, here we come. Here's the roster. I mean, again, talent wise, we have the talent. It's just, can we put it together? Wins up to an 86 now. We still have Hall, Allen, and Davis. No fullbacks, wide receivers, Wilson, Higgins, and Corley. Top three dudes. Tight end's going to be Macklin. Uh, Sean is going to be our left tackle still. Backing him up, though, is Caver, in case we need a backup. Win and Parrish, left guards. Centers, Steinbeck's up to a 70 now, which is okay. Then we got Wimbley and Lilly. Right guards, Vera Tucker and Kinney. And then uh, Conklin's still be a right tackle. We got a bunch of right tackles backing him up. Johnson, the second, left end. Cates too. We've got Reddick his right end. Also McDonald the fourth still there. Frey. And we have defensive tackles. Williams, Slaughter, Woodley, and Bradley. I was not backers, Mafe. And Scott. Pretty cool. Bedard's gonna be our middle linebacker. And the right outside linebacker, we have Quincy Williams still with uh Akeem. And Barmore Small and Chavins up there too. Then corners, Gardner, Reed, Jr., and Carter the second. 
top three guys, but Wilbur's also there too. A lot of guys that are uh, there. Free safety, Stone, Lockley, and Webb. And then strong safety is going to be Jordan Battle. And then kicking is Aubrey. Punting will be Robinson again. So I like it. I like it. I mean, listen, I feel like our team should be pretty decent. We'll see what happens this season. We're going to advance on to the midseason and hope for the best. I can't make any trades. I'll double check, but most likely no. And I'm correct. Like I said, this is going to be the squad. So let's make the most of it. Mid-season, and I mean, yeah, we're taking on the 49ers this week. We're 6-0. and We're off to a great start. Let's take a look here at the stats and see what the story has to tell. So, yeah, Quinn not doing too shabby. Not, it's not throwing an interception this year, so that's why that rating is super high. And good completion percentage. Not too many yards, but you no, know, doing fine. 5-12 and 5 from Hall on the rush. 5 TDs. We love to see that. So 7 rush TDs total. Corley, 303, four, 305 and 4 TDs. So our top guy, 259 and 1 from Wilson, Marcus Macklin. 249, 5 TDs from him. Higgins, 111 and 2. All right. Not too bad. All right, from Johnson, Jordan with 100. Uh, Sacks allowed, 5 from Caver, 2 from Steinbach, 1 from uh, Shanu, and Conklin with also 1. Sack allowed. Defensively, tackles, 35 from Bernard, 33 from Williams, 31 from DJ Reed Jr., 26 from Battle, 25 from Garner. 23 from Carter the second. 23 from John. 22 from Johnson the second. Quinn and Williams 21 to, uh, tackles and it just keeps going. Sacks three apiece. Johnson the second and Slaughter two from Reddick. One and a half from Williams. A few guys with one half sack there from Reed Jr. Interceptions three from Carter the second. Two from Battle and one from Quincy Williams. There's your kicking, punting, kick return. Punt return. Wonderful. All right. Now. Here is the story. We don't have any money, I don't believe, but I'm going to check. No, I don't want to relocate. The seedings are a little good, good for you. They want us to renovate it. Wait, we can rebuild this? What does that even do? I'm, I'm going to click it real quick. Finish renovations. Basic futuristic... But here's the problem, though. If if I'm the Giants, do the Giants also get that, too? Think about it, right? Because they share a stadium. So if I renovate that, it also gets renovated for the Giants, correct? Think about it. Should. I don't know. Either way, uh, it's not the one I wanted to click on. So I want to go to Trade Center because I'm curious to see if there's any room to make. Yeah, no, there is no room. That's what I figured. So this is the team. The team is the team. We're going to advance to the playoffs, and I imagine we'll be there. We're 6-0 right now. You can see the standings. Uh, Ravens are also 6-0. So, yeah, I mean, if we don't get in as a wild card team. I mean, minimum we'll get in as a wild card team, but I think we're going to win the division. I mean, with the start we have, I assume we will. And look at that. 16-1. and one. What a season we had now. We have to see the rankings here. We were number one in two categories. Number two in three categories, number nine. All top tens. Basically, top two in five of six categories. Pass yards per game, we were nine. Great, great stuff there. So, we have the divisional locked down. So, we're there. Quinn had a great season. 3,077 yards, 32 TDs, only one interception, 70% complete percentage, 190.5 passer rating. Rush wise, Hall, 1,543 TDs, 293.5 from Allen's backup. We'd love to see that. Receiving, Corley, 833, 10 TDs, 785 and 5 from Wilson. Marcus Macklin, 75 and 7, 737 and 6 from Higgins. Wonderful. Blocking? Yeah, Caber, a lot of sacks, 13. 8 from Steinbach. Five from Kenny, four from Sean Uvera Tucker with one. Yeah, okay. Now, here's one other tidbit that I have. 101 tackles there from Williams. 96 from Bernard Reed Jr. 68, 63 from Gardner, 62 from Battle. And you guys can see it kind of just goes down from there. 
Seven sacks from Williams and Slaughter. Six and a half from Johnson the second. Six from Reddick. Okay. Interceptions. Five from Carter the second. And then a few guys, a bunch of guys here with two. So a 13 total. It's a team. Aubrey was perfect kicking. There's your punting. Your kick. Your punt return. I gotta see if we have any injuries. I'm gonna take a look. So if we go home to the injury report. Revan Jordan's the only one hurt. Okay. Very nice. I am going to advance to the divisional. And we will see who we're taking on. We look at the playoff bracket. There we are. Could be the Titans. Could be. We'll see. Bears and Eagles, bottom right corner. Yeah, let's see what happens. I'm going to see you guys at the divisional. Hopefully you can win it. So, we're going to be taking on the Chargers here in the divisional. So they, yeah, Ravens beat the she, yeah Titans, so we're not taking them on. But we're taking on, yeah, the Chargers. So, okay. Very nice. Very nice, very nice, very nice. Very nice. Cool. So let's advance. See what happens. We're going to go to the Super Sim. And if we look at the matchup, I mean, we have the advantage in everything over the Chargers. There's really no reason we shouldn't win this game and go to the conference championship. So let's see what happens. We're going to go play full game and hop on to the Super Sim. All right. Divisional. At home, by the way. So, cannot forget that part. So we're going to jump forward to the end of the game and see if we can beat the Chargers here. First blood will go to us. We're up 7-0. They're going to tie it up. We're going to take the lead 10-7. Now 17-7. And going into the second half, 17-10. We're going to make it 24-10, fourth quarter. And they're going to score there, 24-17. And that's what it's going to be. We didn't have to hop on in. So, 24-17. Quinn with the good job there. We outmatched the Chargers to head to the conference championship, the AFC game. One TD, 264, 68.8 percent completion percentage there from Quinn as we got the W. Let's head on to the next game. All right, we got the Ravens now. This is a tough matchup. It, I, I will not lie. This is a good team. We have the advantage of them in over everything except rush yards on opponents. They're second. We were third, though. Everything else we have the advantage of, but they do have some top 10 categories. I mean, they were third in rush yards. We were second. Offensive points per game, they're fourth. We were second. I mean, their weakness is pass yards and opponents' points per game. So if we could get up and down the football field with the passing game, we should have a chance to win. So let's hop on to the AFC and hopefully beat the Ravens. So here we go. We are the home team. It is rainy out. Not the best weather. It's probably very cold, too. So let's see what happens. First blood will go to us. We're up 3-0. And second quarter, we are going to take a 10-0 lead. They are going to give us a 17-0 lead. Make it... No, oh, not making anything. 17-7. We're going to make it 20 to 7. They make it 20 to 14. Ooh, we're going to slow this bad boy down because it is 55 seconds and they are only down six. So this is important here to get a stop. Clock is really running for them there, though. Yeah, it's ticking. They get a short pass. They're going to have to call it. They're electing to not call a timeout. Second and seven. Weird, weirdly enough. I guess they're confident that they can... Okay, there they call the time. So they want to get the first down. All right, 21 seconds. Yeah, they're going to have to call some time. They had, I'm kind of surprised they didn't call any timeouts. All right, they're sending it. Lamar Jackson. Ooh, good defense there. 17 seconds. Second and 10. The rain is coming down. we got to win this game, man. Don't let them get a touchdown. Lamar Jackson is running, running. And he avoids it. All right, 11 seconds to go. They have one timeout left. That was unfortunate that they got the first down there. They're still not goal line, but basically it is because, I mean, if you're right there, it's 
a score. And that is a dropped pass. Great on the tackle. It's going to be incomplete. Great tackle. Eight seconds to go. Second and ten. They still have a timeout. This is a, this. We got to lock it and play D right here. Can we do it? Wow. Third and ten. Sauce. Got a hand on it, baby. I hope they don't convert here. Because if they convert here, the game is basically over. Oh, can we get a sack? A big sack right there. From Boye Mafe. And we are going to the Super Bowl in our final season. A big sack right there. To secure a chance playing Super Bowl. Very nice. Very nice stuff there. Let's head on to the Super Bowl. Uh, you can see there, yeah, Quinn's having a good, doing a solid run. And, uh, yeah, let's head on to the Super Bowl. Can we win it? Let's find out. All right, it is Dallas. That is the Super Bowl, of course, Dallas. We get to, we get to face them in Tampa Bay. I mean, you can see the rankings. They uh, The rankings that they have the advantage over us in, well, they're first. They have some other top ten rankings, like opponents points per game and... Uh, also, the offensive points per game. They're 11 in the rush, so just outside the top 10. And 20 second pass yards. So, again, if we can pass the ball up and down the football field, we can win this game. It's going to be a tough matchup, though. It's a talented team. They have the advantage on defense. They have the advantage on offense. Our disadvantage on offense is better than their disadvantage on defense. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm going to assume to the end of the game with the Super Bowl on the line super sim fast forward to the end of the game Let's see if we can win it first blood goes to us we're up 7-0 we make it 10-0 they're gonna make it 10-3 get a stop and they're gonna tie up the game 10-10 second half of football they take a 17-10 lead now they're up 24 to 10 and 27 to 10 we got a score here uh we gotta get a stop uh no we're gonna lose this game Yep, and 34 to 13 in the Super Bowl. Dallas bested us. They got us in the Super Bowl. We had a bad game, man. They they destroyed us. Ah, oh, hate getting the Super Bowl and losing. It was such a good season, but Dallas reigned supreme in the sim engine again, courtesy of EA. 34 to 13, man. That's unfortunate. And that's our final season. Quinn didn't have a great game. Dak had a great game. 34 to 13. It's a tough, tough way to end the video. So no Super Bowl. Got to the Super Bowl, but they couldn't win it. So we're just gonna go on to the offseason recap and then close it out. Let's see the recap. Dallas defeat us. CD Lamb got the Super Bowl MVP. Uh, Joe Burr was the NFL MVP. Our coach, Robert Solid, was the coach of the year. Ramon Ross, St. Brown, Offensive Player of the Year, Lions, Defensive Player of the Year, Max Crosby and the Raiders, Lions, Devin Tanley, Offensive Rookie of the Year, Defensive Rookie of the Year was Emmanuel McKee, Colts. So those are the awards. And yeah, that's how the video ends, unfortunately. And win them all. Even though we had a great, I'm surprised we had such a great season. I feel like we should have won it, but couldn't get it. Just couldn't quite get over the hump. All right, let's close it out. If you guys will all enjoyed. If you did, like, subscribe, comment down below. Some of the videos of our socials, play the second channel and main channel down below in the description. If you like the Connor from DJP. Like I said, we were very close. Just couldn't get the job. Could not get over the hump. There was a few seasons where I thought we should have been able to get over the hump, which couldn't. Uh, somehow, look at that. We got a tie. Did you guys see that? There's a little tie. Hold on, let me go back to the recording scene. Oh, sorry. Look at that. I didn't catch that before. Tie game. Very rarely do I see that. So I had to acknowledge it. But anyways, uh, hope you enjoyed. Like, subscribe if you did. Comment down below some of the videos. Like I said, social space can channel and main channel down below in the description. If you like the content from DJP, also hit the bell button to notify when I upload. And uh, that is it. That's all we have. Next team we do is an NFC team. Don't know what team that's going to be yet, so I have to double check. But yeah, I'm going to head on out. Take care. See you soon. Peace.